Are you sleepwalking through life, simply existing day to day without meaning or purpose? Do you often regret how you spent your precious time and wish you lived more intentionally? If so, then this video is for you. I'm going to share profound wisdom from the ancient Greek philosophy of Stoicism that will wake you up and show you how to start truly living. No more drifting through life on autopilot just to arrive at your deathbed full of regret for opportunities missed. In this video, you'll learn life-changing practices to transform everyday moments into purposeful living. I'll explain how reflecting on mortality can inspire seizing each day. You'll discover how to master your emotions, grow your character, and contribute goodness to others. I'll also share how letting go of the past and future to fully inhabit the present can unlock happiness and reduce anxiety. Other topics include cultivating resilience, finding fulfillment beyond status, and aligning your actions with what really matters. This wisdom has empowered many leading entrepreneurs, athletes, politicians, and thinkers to stop existing and start living. Now it can help you live more vibrantly too. Invest in yourself by carving out uninterrupted time to watch this entire video. Take notes on insights that resonate with you. Hit the like button if you find this advice helpful. Share it with friends and family who also need help getting unstuck from coasting through life on autopilot. The opportunity to truly live starts now with this video. Let's begin. Number 1. Memento Mori One of the most profound Stoic practices for living more deliberately is Memento Mori, which means, remember you must die, in Latin. This may initially sound depressing, but it's meant to provide uplifting perspective. Set aside time each morning to visualize your gravestone. Picture your name carved in stone along with your date of birth and an empty space for your date of death. Consider the sobering reality that you will not live forever, and your time is limited. How does picturing your gravestone make you feel? Most people report it's both unsettling and motivating. The realization of mortality puts problems and frustrations into proper context. Memento Mori lifts you above sweating the small daily stuff. That difficult coworker, financial trouble, or endless chore list won't loom as large when viewed against the impermanence of life itself. Remembering you will die one day may sound heavy, but it can be uplifting by reconnecting you with the bigger picture. Appreciate life as the precious gift it is, however briefly you get to experience it. Let the knowledge you will not live forever motivate you to use your talents fully and make each moment meaningful. Memento Mori also instills gratitude for another day. Don't take your limited time for granted, waiting for the perfect future circumstances to enjoy. Start living more deliberately now. Treasure your health, relationships, and experiences today. Be present to the gift that is this moment. Once it passes, it is gone. Picturing your gravestone need not be depressing. It can inspire you to cease delaying and start appreciating the days you have. Who knows how many more mornings you'll awaken, or chances you'll get to share your gifts. Remembering mortality helps lived life to the fullest. Let Memento Mori guide you to make each precious day count. Number 2. Be the Captain of Your Soul A key aspect of Stoic philosophy is recognizing the difference between what we can control and what we cannot. There are many external events, situations, and other people that we have little power over. However, we have immense power over our inner domain, how we perceive and respond to life. As the poet William Ernest Henley wrote, you can choose to be the captain of your soul. This means taking command of your inner world, even when you cannot control outer circumstances. Make the decision to respond consciously rather than reacting blindly. Pause and reflect when something upsetting occurs before letting your emotions carry you away. Ask yourself, how can I engage constructively with this situation given realities I cannot change? As captain of your soul, you have the power to choose your perspective. The same event can be viewed as a problem or an opportunity for growth. It's up to you to decide. You also have the power to discern your values and intentions. External things cannot determine your worth or compose your character without your consent. Being captain means sailing through life's challenges with wisdom and resilience rather than being tossed about by emotional storms. 
You cannot always choose the conditions, but you can chart the course ahead by the light of your inner compass. Captain of your soul voices continue despite outer chaos. It trusts in your ability to navigate difficulties from the stability of your inner core. You know you have all the resources within already to handle whatever arises. You can be captain of your soul starting right now. The power lies with you. Number three, imagine the worst. One powerful stoic exercise is to regularly spend time visualizing worst case scenarios. Set aside some quiet time to sincerely imagine losing everything important to you, your job, home, possessions, health, relationships. How does picturing this make you feel? Most people experience anxiety, sadness, and discomfort. This exercise is not meant to torment you, but to help honestly confront your fears. When you imagine the worst case scenario repeatedly, it starts to lose power over your mind. By practicing meeting imaginary adversity with courage, resilience, and wisdom, you strengthen your ability to do so when hardship manifests in reality. This exercise reveals that even if you lost everything, you would still retain your inner fortitude. External things alone cannot destroy you. Visualizing the worst inoculates against panic and helplessness when crises do arise. Real adversity becomes more manageable when you've already envisioned the possibility and developed emotional resilience in response. You cultivate the deep faith that whatever happens, you will be able to summon the wisdom and virtues necessary to engage constructively. Regularly picturing losing everything also relieves overattachment and clinging to circumstances that inevitably change wealth, status, health, even relationships. This frees you from desperately grasping at transient things or insisting life meet your demands. With less resistance, you gain strength. Imagine the worst to gain confidence in your ability to handle the worst. See that you can bear what you fear most, even if it would be terribly difficult. This plants the seed of courage and resilience. When challenges arise, you've already proven to yourself that you have enough inner resources to respond wisely. You know in your heart that no matter what comes, you will be okay. Adversity makes us stronger. Stoicism transforms difficulty into opportunity for growth. Number four, flow like water. Stoicism advises living in harmony with nature, which follows principles of flexibility, adaptation, and flow. Observe how water effortlessly conforms to the shape of whatever vessel contains it. It remains soft and fluid despite surrounding conditions. This is the ideal mindset for navigating life's complexities. Align yourself with nature's wisdom, not rigid human constructs. Allow your values and perspectives to flow like water, conforming to reality rather than resisting what is beyond control. Flow around obstacles and harden not against adversity. Consider how water carves its course by the law of gravity, seeking the most energy-efficient path. In the same way, conserve mental energy by letting go of entitlements and judgment when they clash against immutable reality. Cease wasting effort imposing preconceived notions on situations. Instead, be open, attentive, and receptive. Water also illustrates the power of softness and yielding. Its gentle touch persistently reshapes hard surfaces like stone. In life, too, soft virtues often triumph over brute force. Cultivate compassion, patience, and understanding to influence change, not inflexible will. Observe how water cleanses impurities and nourishes life, enriching all it touches. As a human, purify your intentions and contribute your gifts without expecting reward. Offer your highest self at this moment. Nothing more or less is needed. Flow with the changing seasons as water adapts fluidly to winter, spring, summer, and fall. This acceptance allows you to welcome each phase of life as part of nature's cycle. Death enables rebirth. Loss enables renewal. Change is the only constant. Align your values with the Tao, nature's way. Abide in effortless harmony with reality. Be humble, adaptable, generous, and pure of heart. Simply flow like water. Number five, 
emotions are overrated. When you feel any strong emotion arise, pause before reacting. Don't immediately believe and express what you feel without reflection. Ask yourself, is this emotion exaggerated or unrealistic? Is acting on it prudent and aligned with my values? What would be a rational, productive response here? Often our initial passionate reactions and gut feelings construct imaginary scenarios bearing little resemblance to reality. The Stoic philosopher Seneca advised, first control your emotions, then you can understand reason. Take time to consciously evaluate your emotions from an objective perspective before letting them dictate behavior. None of this means permanently repressing natural human feelings. But as the gatekeeper of your mind, don't let every passing passion, urge, or aversion control you. Emotions should serve human goals, not subvert them. Master your feelings, don't be mastered by them. Cultivate the wisdom and maturity to temporarily detach from an emotion in order to examine it logically. This prevents overreactions and rash decisions you may later regret. With distance, you can discern appropriate responses instead of mindlessly following each impulse. Of course, have empathy for emotions in yourself and others, but don't let them overpower reason. Your rational thinking brain evolved later to balance reactive emotions with wise consideration before acting. Employ this full human capacity for clear understanding. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca said, the first thing to do to free oneself from turmoil is to gain command over one's passions. Master your feelings. Don't be life's plaything, bounced about by every emotional wave. Develop self-control so emotions serve you well, aligning passion with reason. Number six, let it go and move on. When challenging events occur, the stoic approach is to process emotions mindfully then let go and move on with life. Staying stuck in resentment over the past robs you of the present moment. As the saying goes, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. When someone wrongs you, reflect carefully before reacting. Seek justice if necessary, but without vengeance. Appeal to the offender's conscience, but don't force reconciliation. With forgiveness, you set yourself free. Release the past and redirect energy to the future. Letting go doesn't mean forcing amnesia or enabling abuse. Take time to learn any lessons, then release the emotional grip past events can wield over you. Be like a palm tree, standing firm yet bending and letting go when assailed by heavy winds. Adapt gracefully rather than rigidly resisting. Don't let hurt define you. Allow time and space to heal wounds but don't cling to them as your identity. You are much more than your past pain. Release grudges to make room for growth. Letting go doesn't mean giving up on justice or self-respect. It means ceasing to mentally relive hurts while maintaining boundaries and asserting human dignity. You stay safe and act with compassion, but drop festering resentment that poisons the present. The past can't be changed, but the future awaits your shaping. Expend energy on enacting your values now, not brooding over wrongs. Leave behind what no longer serves you. Flow like water and move where life is calling you next. Adapt and let go. Number seven, live on purpose. With mortality as the only certainty, how will you spend your brief time alive? The Stoics encourage living deliberately with purpose and focused intent. As Seneca said, you live as if you were destined to live forever. No thought of your frailty ever enters your head. But in truth, our days are numbered. To combat aimless drift, reflect often on how you want to fill the empty space before your gravestone. Identify your values, passions, and talents. Set goals and plans aligned with utilizing them fully. Make choices to enact your purpose, not simply react to circumstances. Living on purpose also means focusing on what's truly meaningful, beyond just comfort and pleasure. Invest energy in developing character, wisdom, and serving others. Craft a legacy greater than status or stuff acquired along the way. Purpose requires presence. Recognize each day as an unlikely gift, not a given right. 
Feel the preciousness of being alive right now. Fully taste, touch, smell, see, and listen. Appreciate this moment before it vanishes. Don't wait for the perfect future conditions to start living deliberately. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. With death approaching, treat every day as your last dance. Give your fullest gift. Practice unconditional love. Leave it all on the dance floor so you have no regrets. With purpose as the organizing force, mundane activities gain deeper meaning. Everything becomes opportunity to express your essence. Living on purpose fills life with significance. Each moment flows together into a symphony grander than the individual notes. Realize now that you are destined to die, but destined before that to truly live. Seize this day. Make moves that matter so when your final seconds arrive, you can rest in peace. Number 8. Grow your soul. Resisting temptation builds self-control. While the outer world is often beyond your power, you have agency over your inner domain. Exercise free will to shape your character. See each challenge as a chance to actualize your potentials and become the person you aim to be. Test yourself and grow. Be like an athlete who strains their body to become stronger. Welcome tough situations that demand more of you. Don't always take the easy or comfortable path. Without struggle, there is no progress. Muscles must experience resistance to grow. If you avoid all discomfort, your character will not strengthen. Reflect deeply on your core values and vision of the person of wisdom, courage, and integrity you aspire to become. Then take concrete steps each day through your habits and choices to realize that vision. Character is forged incrementally through living true to your principles, not mere dreams. Match actions to aspirations. Undertake challenges in measured doses you can recover from. Be gentle with yourself as change comes slowly, but keep growing. Stay perpetually hungry for knowledge and virtue. Maintain humility regarding your shortcomings, but also faith in your potential. With time and effort, you can actualize excellence. The Stoics said life is like a fertile field in which we are seeds meant to mature and bear fruit. Our role is to patiently tend the soil of our mind and spirit. Grow your soul like a gardener nurtures plants to thrive. Challenge yourself and build character. Develop inner riches, wisdom, justice, self-control. These are the fruits that truly matter. Don't avoid difficulty or close yourself off from risk. Embrace the uncertainty and tension inherent to progress. In comfort and complacency, the soul stagnates. A life without obstacles becomes shallow and soft. See each trial as an opportunity to temper your mettle. Tough times summon hidden reserves of courage and resilience. Grow your soul through self-discipline. The hard road leads to heights you never imagined. Number 9. Be a light. Each of us has unique gifts to share that can help others along their journey. Look for ways, both big and small, that you can uplift people and make a positive difference. Offer encouragement to those struggling. Lend a listening ear to those burdened. Stand up for those being harmed. Soften your critiques and amplify appreciation. Weave more beauty, humor, and compassion into the world. Help shoulder another's load. Through selfless giving, we transcend egotistic concerns and experience our interconnectedness. Remind others going through hard times that they are not alone. We are all in this together, seeking to live meaningful lives in the time we have. Shine light into the darker corners of humanity that need it most. Fight injustice through active love, not retaliation. Return malice with empathy, hatred with understanding. Darkness cannot overcome darkness. Only light can do that. Living with purpose also comes from developing excellence and sharing your unique talents. What seeds of creativity, joy, and insight can you scatter to blossom in others' lives? How can you help cultivate their highest potentials? Your light needn't shine from a grand public platform. Humble acts of service often affect others profoundly. A smile, listening ear, or encouraging word from you at the right time could inspire hope when someone is on the edge of giving up. Even on difficult days when your own light flickers, you can still reflect rays of others who have illumination to brighten your path in return. We travel together, each doing our small part to light the way forward. Shine on. 
Number 10. Be here now. A major emphasis in Stoic philosophy is appreciating the present moment rather than dwelling on the unchangeable past or unknowable future. The past is gone, the future not yet here. The only thing fully within your control is the present instant. Each moment is a gift and opportunity accessible only right now. Don't take this fleeting aliveness for granted. Be wary of habitually deferring happiness to some later time and place. Life is never happening in the future. It is always occurring here and now. If you don't fully inhabit the present, you'll miss the ride. Being present means giving full attention to your immediate experience, savoring your morning coffee, feeling the wind on your skin, smiling at passing strangers. Don't just rush through tasks on the way to something else. Bring care and mindfulness even to mundane activities like washing dishes or driving. This transforms routine into ritual. Of course, make plans aligned with your values, but hold them lightly. Stay open and receptive to each new present moment rather than rigidly imposing expectations. Flow with circumstances as they unfold. What emerges spontaneously is often wiser than what you could strategize. Learn from the past and optimize the future, but don't dwell anywhere but the here and now. The present is the only time you actually get to live. Yesterday's already gone, tomorrow not yet come. The only thing you really have is this moment. Pay close attention so you don't miss the gift. Being present also reduces anxiety over future uncertainties. Why fear what is yet to manifest? Why cling anxiously to things that inevitably change? Exist here and now. Make the most of this instant. Soon it will be past, replaced by a new present opportunity. Each moment is a chance to reset. Don't carry regrets and grudges but also learn from the past. Be grateful for today's blank slate. Live thoughtfully, but not haunted by history. Be here, be now. The present is life's real treasure. That's why they call it the present. Unwrap and savor this gift. And there you have it. Timeless wisdom from Stoic philosophy that empowers us to live more deliberately. No longer sleepwalk through the days, but wake up and infuse meaning into each moment. Remember, reflect often on mortality, master your emotions, grow your character, contribute to others. Let go of the unchangeable past and unknowable future to fully inhabit the present. Align actions with your highest values. Develop resilience to engage challenges with wisdom. Find fulfillment beyond comfort and status. Keep growing as a person. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this overview of Stoic practices helpful for living more purposefully. Please like and share if you gained value from this video. I wish you the very best on your journey. Until next time, make the most of the moments. Thank you all for watching and may you all find peace and serenity in the Stoic ways.